Presentation, please. Oh, okay, that's me. All right. Redis as a primary database. Well, as you all know, Redis started as some sort of caching system and gradually evolved to become a database. We at Redis Labs make a lot of effort to make Redis a primary database for as many use cases as we can. And today, uh, I would like to share, we would like to share with you some of the innovations and demonstrations associated with Redis as a primary database. And I'll start with uh, the functionality of Redis as a multi-model database. Well, modern applications uh, use what we call polyglot persistent architecture, by which multiple microservices um, communicate with multi one or more data services, databases, and then those databases communicate among themselves and send data to one another. The limitation of this approach are, first of all, there are too many network hopes which may, which may make the application slower. Secondly, you have too many data services, too many connectors, too many glue components, and it tends to get complex, this setup. It tends, tends to get complex and also expensive because on the cloud, you pay separately for each of those microservices and for each of those data services. Another modern approach is to use what we call a multi-model database architecture by which the microservices communicate with a single database, which has all those separate functionalities of multiple type of databases. And this makes things much simpler, of course. In the case of Redis, we implemented the multi-model functionality with a novel concept, which is called Redis modules, which was mentioned here before. Basically, we have a core part of the database and then an API, which enables anyone to add any C, C++, Python, Go library to the database and make it an integral part of the database. Now, the nice thing about this approach is, first of all, it's modular. So those, those, those uh, different type of database functionalities are not tightly integrated as you find with some of the other multi-model databases. And secondly, what you have here with Redis, each of those modules have the real functionality of a graph, uh, JSON, search, etc. It's not just an API, okay? And we have, you know, with the module system, we have people from the uh, community uh, built already many uh, different modules. Uh, we have some enterprise customers that build their own proprietary modules, even without sharing this with us. And then we, as a company, build modules which are intended to expand the use case coverage of Redis and make it multi-model. Uh, we would like to show you today how this works in reality, and for that we have built uh, an application which takes the Twitter firehose and does the following. First of all, word count on the Twitter firehose, indexing, and then searching, and then building a social graph out of the data. Let's see first how this could be implemented on the cloud, on AWS, without Redis, okay? So basically, you take the data from the Twitter fire, fire hose, feed it into Kinesis, which is the uh, streaming engine of AWS, and then you need to build a Lambda function which will take the data from Kinesis and move it to Elasticash. So the, the Redis sorted set can do word count for us. Then, you'll have to build yet another Lambda function to take the data from Elasticash and move it to DynamoDB for persistent purposes. In parallel, 
you need to build another Lambda function to take the data from Kinesis and to move it to cloud search for indexing and all the searching functionality, and another Lambda function to take the data from cloud search to elastic, as, as to elastic uh, cache for instant response. And in parallel, you need to build another Lambda function to take the data from Kinesis to move it to Neptune, which is the graph um, data service of AWS, and from there to build another Lambda function to take the data from Neptune and move it to Elastic Ash for instant response. And on top of all that, you need to build connectors from your application servers to each of those data services. Does this remind you of anything? So, you know, in order to do that, we used five data services, six Lambda functions, five application connectors, and we ended up with seven network hops, okay? Did I mention slow, complex, and expensive? Let's see now how to do the sa exactly the same thing with Redis. So for that, we would use Redis integrated with two modules. The first one is Redis Search and Redis Graph. And basically what we do is we will take the Twitter Firehose data, feed it into the stream functionality of Redis, and then use a sorted set for doing word count, use Redis Search to do the indexing and searching functionality, and Redis Graph for building the, the social graph. Very simple to do, we'll show you that. We end up in with one data service, zero Lambda functions, one application connector, and one network hop. I think that it's, it's no, no words are needed. Uh, this, is, this is so much simpler than to do it with, you know, with, with uh, polyglot persistent architecture. We would like to demo it now, and for that, I would like to call Kyle Davis. Kyle? Hey, please come on. Okay. All right, let's see if everything's still up. <laughs> so what I'm going to do today is uh, take <clears throat> the Twitter fire hose, as we said, and we're going to use a Redis stream to pull it in and start using that to uh, turn it into a Redis stream. So as we can see here, I'm doing that. I just want to check on something momentarily. Yep, we're getting tweets. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I want to do that word counting thing, right? I want to create a word frequency chart. So I'm going to do that. And let's take a look how that looks. So we're live generating this particular word cloud and frequency chart as we go along by just using sorted sets and some interesting stuff like that. You might guess uh, what keyword I'm using. I make no um, adherence to what the content is. This is the live internet, so um, there's that. Um, then we're going to say, OK, we look over here. This is some really interesting stuff, right? We can say, OK, what's going on with this? So let's take a look at some, something here. Um, you know, think. I just saw that keyword, right? So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to look in search. So let's go to the search engine. I've turned that on. Now we're indexing live as we go along. So Let's take a look at search and how that looks. So uh, as I type, I'm searching through this stream of data. We can see, see everything here. This is using Redis Search, which is a, a real-time search engine that we've built. Um, I can go in and um, get, let's see here, let's do uh, Macron, right? That's what I was looking for, let's see, R-O-N. Uh, okay, Faker Monica, okay, I have live internet, guys, uh, screen name, so I'm going to use it as a secondary index here, and we can see all the things that this person has tweeted, which is really interesting, right? But, you know, we can also see, like, where the, they've mentioned as well, so we can see at mentions, int, I can't type today, <laughs> but we can do that. Uh, so we can see everybody who's mentioned the ACLU, for example. That's really interesting, right? But what if we wanted to see, for example, how these all related, right? 
that would be a graph problem. So I can go ahead and go over here, we'll turn graph on, and then we can see how everybody is connected. So I'm gonna make this a little bit larger here. And let's take a look at the social graph of what we've been uh, ingesting. So then we can see the social graph. And let's take a look a little closer at this. Let's zoom out a little bit more. Um, and this is all built using streams, and this is Redis graph, which I'm going through and seeing the relationships between people who've mentioned things, uh, and we can see some interesting relations. Um, let's take a look here. Let's look at the hill, which is, uh, and we'll take a look here, recenter that. We can see who's said he things here, and we could take a look at one of these people and see who they've interacted with as well. Uh, probably not a lot of people. That's the way some things work on Twitter. And we can see they've just interacted with this. So as we look at this, we can go back through and see everything here. So in this presentation, uh, you've seen Redis as a social graph using the Redis graph module as a search engine, which is not this screen, but um, this screen. Um, and as well uh, as using sorted sets to create these word frequencies. So we're using it as a truly multi-model database. Okay? Thanks. <laughs>